live from Austin, Texas, where the Gravity Angels have blessed us with brilliant digital entertainment. It's Retro Pals with Danny and Alex. <laughs> Hello, Alex. <laughs> Hello, Danny. I feel so, I truly feel touched by an angel this day. <laughs> Just call me the PAX Network, baby. Well, the angels are going to be touching all kinds of people tonight when we feature interactive <laughs> DVD games. Oh, I've been wanting to show these off for a long, long time. These are, yeah, just looking at the covers and then playing these games oh so briefly to check them out. Like Gravity Angels, I only played a few minutes until I was like, okay, I want to see this live on stream. <laughs> I want to react to this with everyone else. Yeah. This is a true Retro Pals core uh, <laughs> disc that we're about to play, and I hope that you'll enjoy it as well. Hell yeah. Real quick before we get started, I do want to thank everyone who resubbed before the show. Thank you, Luwear, for the one year resub. Wow, thank you. Luwear says, time for interactive television. Yes, it's the promise of the 90s today. I choose interactive television. Wow, one whole year. And thank speaking you. of a year, thank you, Hexagon Witch, for a one year resub do appreciate that hex gun which says holy smokes one whole year of pals a yep. year that's almost 12 months thank you <laughs> thank you thank you to uzi for the 36 months what the uh, uzi says how does this work i don't know you know more than i do have we even and streamed to... that long 36 months yeah we've been for 38 wow and thank you to broken scholar for the 15 month recent broken scholar says make me red sorry about being <laughs> like that but i figured you know we'd been gone so it's time to come back and it's appropriate everyone out. yeah yeah all right, wow. it is time to play some games tonight. Uh, long, long ago, we put a poll up to our patrons where, I don't know, something else won, but something else really resonated with them. One of the runners-up was Gravity Angels Alien Discovery, mm -hmm. a mysterious DVD that we later brought back and put it in another poll, and it lost by one damn vote. So I decided, you know what, we're going to make a dedicated stream for this. But... What do you patrons, you folks, want to see in addition to that game? Gave them a whole bunch of options, mm -hmm. and this is what they came up with. They really want to... Surprisingly, the anime witch game uh, <laughs> took an early lead and managed to win out over Howie Mandel and the History Channel combined. So congratulations to Anime Witches. Anime Witches, you're number one, baby. So that's our lineup tonight. Okay. Um, no idea if we're going to get to... I hope to get to at least three additional games after Gravity Angels. It looks like that has a runtime of like 45 minutes. Okay. We'll have to see. We'll play it by ear. But it's going to be a good one. And real quick, thank you to Trough of Luxury for the 15-month resub. Thank you so much. Trough says, repeatedly pressing pals on my DVD remote player. Yeah, you're going to see us at 50 or... <laughs> Smooth 50 hertz action. Keep pressing that Mwah. pals button. Thank you. Right. Okay, so transport yourself back in time. God. It's 2001. You're on top of the world. You headed over to your local Best Buy to check out the latest PS2 and Xbox games. You head over to the DVD section, and something catches your eye. This DVD cover. Wow. This one right here. Like... Can you even take your eyes off it now? It just, it it attracts you instantly. You're all like, fuck everything else on the shelf. I gotta have whatever this is. It is so intoxicating! It, it is... uses up to two colors to tell you that this is called Gravity Angels, and it's an interactive DVD of some sort? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Path adventure. Oh, la, la. Anyway, I was attracted when I saw this on eBay several months back, so I got a brand new copy. I tore off the shrink wrap last night, and... What I found was truly disturbing and kind of amazing. <laughs> I love the way that you always always things disturbing. I think you'll be disturbed. Uh, there's a lot to say about this. It has its roots in a PC game, and the company who made it is kind of bonkers, but we'll get into that. Mm -hmm. For now, let's let it speak for itself. All right. I'm going to power up my Xbox One to play this DVD from 2001. <laughs> you ready for this? Yes. Oh, what does the FBI know? <laughs> From Slingshot Studio and developer Brilliant Digital Entertainment. That's literally what they're called. They bring you this. Gravity yes. Angels, Alien Discovery. Oh yeah. Alright, this is definitely... Uh... What a screen. I'm so glad I paid $24.99 at Best Buy for this. In 2001, I didn't actually do that. No. This is this is a jam. All right, I'm all in on this music. So this is a multi-path adventure game on DVD video format. So you can play this in any DVD player, from ones back in the day to brand new ones 
from Microsoft or Sony or whatever. I have seen multiple people say this is a David Cage game. It's very feels it has very, very David Cage esque. It has an Omicron look to it, doesn't it? Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is actually this was originally a PC game. Released in 1998, shortly before the release of the DVD video version. This is an interactive movie that was notable because it wasn't pre rendered, it was actually all rendered in engine using 1998 PC technology. It looks amazing, by the way. It does. Let's get started. <laughs> okay. I'll be stopping the action every so often so we can uh, make some decisions, but really, we're going to be doing a whole lot of watching. And there's no subtitles, so. Perk your ears up. Okay. Yeah, let me uh, crank it. Hey, no smoking on Jupiter. Got it, got it. I guess Pluto, well, Pluto is this. They had to make Pluto not a planet so they could turn it into a smoking section. Yeah. Teach the conspiracy. Miller Western. Aw, oh, man. This is where the misbehaving Amazon employees get sent. <laughs> Damn. Be a better designer, dude. He was high on space drugs. Okay, fair enough. She didn't follow protocol. Mm, protocol was not doing space drugs. Jazz Hopper. Recombinant? Does that mean Jazz he's... Hopper? Hold the phone! Was he killed and then put back together? I guess that's what that implies. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, that'll she... get you sent to Ganymede. This is their story. So, you remember Soldier Boys? This is kind of like that in space. Okay. We're on Ganymede, which is a prison planet where they send all the misbehaving space marines and shit. Cool. Thank you so much to All Hail Magambo for the 16 month resub. They say I can be your gravity angel or gravity devil. <laughs> angel. Thank you. And I have not seen this movie, only skipped around in it, and it is amazing. I can't wait for you to see this. This is Catherine Station to David Launch Control. Wait till you see the people. Captain Station, this is David Launch Control. Stay in the Watch out for that ore. Wow, that stunning animation on the conveyor belt. Oh, you're right, cool, Cody. Jazz Hopper is a member of uh, Blues Traveler, absolutely. <laughs> you can really play that harmonica. Good looking lava. <laughs> For ah, look. <laughs> looks like it looks like lasagna. It does. Oh my god, that's delicious. Where's Garfield? <laughs> They're putting it on the conveyor up to his mouth right oh. now. Oh god, you make it sound like Garfield's like Galactus, just waiting in space. Yeah. To they devour. Keep, they keep him on a prison planet. <laughs> that's where Macaw's uh, two kilogram lasagna comes from. Yeah. Station, this is David Launch Control. We're loaded. Heading over to Ganymede ANST to come to okay. Attention all airborne and orbiting traffic. This is Ganymede Air and Space Traffic Control. All orbiting and airborne traffic to clear slug launch path. Repeat, all orbiting and airborne traffic to clear slug launch path. Surface to orbit slug We got a bunch of lava or some shit. We got 12 tons of lasagna to bring over to Ganymede to Space Garfield. I repeat, 12 orders of lasagna for Space Garfield. We got some real hungry streamers to feed. <laughs> Thank you, Lady Le Linalia, for the 30 per month resub. Holy shit, Lady Lots Linalia. Of months. Yeah, they say, mm, lasagna planet. Yeah, yeah I'm excited to eat we here. Thank you. On the slug retrieving now. This is how shipment works in the future. It's kind of like Lodestar on Sega CD, believe it or not. Ganymede ANST. Needs more space truckers, though. It really does. It really, really does. And orbiting traffic. All air and space lanes are clear. What? Could this be? What? Okay, okay, I was... Oh, it was just a logo. All God right. damn it, I thought it was going to be a horrible giant space alien. Look at right. I. And here's our first decision point, and this is where the interactivity comes in. Uh... First, it gives you the opportunity to skip like halfway through the movie, which is pretty nice because otherwise it doesn't have any kind of save feature. Uh, for now, though, we're just going to start at the beginning with Alien Discovery. I was so excited, man! I thought we'll it get to Ty's story. Okay, 
Well, I mean about the buff angel. I, was, yeah. I, I thought that, you know, they were going to eat the lasagna or something. <laughs> is it literal? Is it figurative? Well, did you ever notice how all the good stuff happens before you're born? Like really wicked rock and roll and unsaturated fats and wind-up toys? Yeah. Three years ago, Ganymede was the place to be. Miller Western's greatest mining operation. Now it's a hole. At least a ragtag colonist. The place you get sent if you're You can't you're call yourself studio. ragtag. <laughs> Second chance, they call it. More like last chance. Now for 12 lousy months, we get to call it home. <laughs> Again, this is real-time game footage converted to DVD video, and it looks fantastic. Okay, this is the last one. Tell me when you're ready. I'm dying, Daddy. These faces. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that was a space stoner. I, I support it. <laughs> we'll get to meet him soon. I have nothing to say. Danny can, yeah. Danny can mention my face looks like colon D right now. I am just like... It's, it's a shock to the senses when you first see this. <laughs> but yeah, this is a real movie you're watching. <laughs> also like to mention that this is rented in 4x3, but the video itself is like letterboxed within that? Yeah! I... Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh! This was... <laughs> Actually, Danny, where was this made? Was this an American game? Uh, um, Eastern European. Their studio is in Los Angeles, but yeah, I think uh, it was in Europe developed. I thought the names were Swedish or Bob, something. It's done it again. I'm not the one to ask. We see it. Be careful. It's you getting anything? Uh, nothing yet. <laughs> I'm just poking at my texture. Back. We see her. Damn it. I can't hold her. Let her go. Cobb. You're past your safety Warning. depth. Maximum rated depth. Jim, get your butt out of there. Just a bit more. Remember when PC no games look like this? Yes. Maximum it was cool. Depth. Yeah. Was... James, this is an order. I'm sorry. She's beautiful. <laughs> All right, our first major decision point. Folks, are we going to descend or ascend? Also known as ascend. <laughs> What'll it be? Um, let's see. Descend, descend, descend. Descend. Okay. It looks like we're trending towards descent. Okay. So let's descend, baby. No ascension for us. We are going to descend into the depths. I'm gonna dive, dive. Get out of there. Yes. Good choice. I love these real time graphics. Yeah. It's, it's very time. striking. It's working. I can see her. The hole's going. Just a little bit. What the heck? What's going on? There's something weird here, Cobb. <laughs> oh no, oh. a texture! Watch out! That's two frames of animation, Captain! Warning. Maximum rated death. Get out of there. I, I've lost the controls! Oh, no. Cobb, she's back. She can't be. The probe's cactus. Check your monitors. Listen Some alien me. making fun of us. You've got to get out of there. A uh, fun get fact about this game. Yeah. <laughs> the devs of this game helped develop Kaza. That Kaza. Yep, they were involved in fi file sharing for sure. Oh boy, that's so that rocks. This whole so, thing rocks. We want to go to Ty's story, or do we want to find out more about the cargo? I'm kind of intrigued by the the man with the nose ring over there. But yeah, I, I wanna... it's up to y'all. Cargo, cargo, death cargo, cargo, cargo. We gotta see We're the cargo. We're going with the cargo? Okay, let's find out more about this cargo we're carrying. Um, what I understand, cargo fast. Oh. Very good, Alex. Play it back. Cargo, cargo. <laughs> this is what happens when I don't stream for a week. I think you're gonna like uh, this new friend we're about to meet. I'm excited. Is that, is that a pair of... Okay, I thought that was like a pair of lips on the uh, bottom there. It was like, hey, hey, everybody, I'm a cool spaceship. Wow! <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah! This rocks! <laughs> I 
He's a he's a big fan oh. of the space drugs. Look at all those space muffins! He's gonna get high and eat all of them. Yes. Oh, I am. He's I just am... putting his face up to it. Oh, that's his hand. <laughs> I am peeking the mic because of the space stoner. <laughs> I think we have a new mascot. Okay, so we're gonna go with uh, this guy's history. We're gonna go directly to the cryogenics, <laughs> or should we head back over to Ty's story? I don't know. I mean, I kind of want to know a little bit more about this guy. He uh, had such a great introduction and all. All right, chat seems mixed to be learn about the guy. Okay, no, they want to know his history. Okay, if people want to cry drinks. They want to know his history overall. We'll, so. we'll get to a lot of stuff eventually. There's some paths we won't see, but a lot of the stuff at the beginning we'll eventually see. So let's go ahead and see this dude's history. I love him. officer to revive all organic crew. This was the guy who got sent here because he designed defective equipment because he used too much space drugs. <laughs> I think he was the first one listed in the intro. Danny, I, I hate to say it, but I think I am what the kids die. call kidding cool with this guy. <laughs> He's an early model. We got dozens Not more. like this one. Don't know why, but his genetic recombination is brilliant. One of my greatest successes. Brilliant for us. Not so brilliant for him. Well, so long as he takes his shots every three hours, he can lead an almost wow. normal life. Almost. <laughs> so it's decided, we let him live. But just put him somewhere he can't do any more damage. So he's an engineered space oh. drug stoner. Oh, not again. We've decided to overlook your latest indiscretion, Jazz. In fact, we have a presentation for you. The dream. Show them how you feel. Give me a kiss, Phyllis. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Okay, first of all, thank you so much to Fidget for the 15 month reset. Fidget says, I can't wait for this to be my future. Danny, what the fuck? I, uh. What the? These are some good <laughs> ass faces right here. All right, we heading to cryogenics or are we going to go to Ty's story? I'm not sure at what point in the story each of these is, so we're just kind of flying blind here, but whatever it is, whatever we pick, it's going to be some good stuff. Oh, thank you, Rusty Retro, for the 30 month, 31 month reset. Rusty asks, what have I walked into? I don't know. I don't know. The future of DVD video. Cryogenic time. Fuck Ty. Cryo, 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 cryo. Okay, no, nobody cares about poor Ty. Eat shit, Ty. The, uh, presumptive protagonist of the story. Nope, we're gonna go with the uh, space drogi. Oh! Oh, fuck! His teeth! Guess we're a little closer to the dream, huh? You still want to go with this guy? Okay! Well, we, we made our decision. He's gonna be uh, in the cryo lab. Shout out <laughs> to David Cage. <laughs> cool hat. <laughs> Bit out his top row of teeth. <laughs> okay, so here is where you get to decide who to revive and take on your journey. Uh, this is a lady. I think it just said her name was Kelly. Mm -hmm. Do we want to go to the next cryogenic chamber or do we want to directly revive her? I think we get multiple people we can revive. Um, let's see. Uh, revive, revive, keep scrolling, <laughs> continue on. Let's. Let's see, get a couple more messages here. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> Revive everyone but Ty. <laughs> swipe left. Uh, keep scrolling. Should we keep scrolling? Revive, revive. It, it seems to be tied, so you know what, Danny? It's up to you. I'm gonna continue. Okay. Keep scrolling. Swipe left. Meh. Put her back in. <laughs> okay, how about this fella? It says he's been in there one year, I guess. Uh, man, that is a face down there in the lower right. Are we going to revive him, or are we going to keep scrolling? Uh, let's see. Revive, revive. Let's get a couple more messages, and we'll figure that out. It's looking like we're going to revive this guy. Yeah, yeah. I want his animated face. Revive, <laughs> bring him out. Yeah, That's true. I do, I do want to see how this face animates, so let's go ahead and... It's your lucky day, mister. You're getting revived by the space drogi. Oh, 
says Docky Wacky been sweepy weepy. What? Not much of a talker, huh? <laughs> Go back to sleep. That's my <laughs> That's sleep. me. You're a genie. Genetic recombinant human. I am one of the first and one of the past. Well, then what are you doing here? Ace Ventura? I guess so. Uh, just stay away from me, okay? You better oh, wait I saw in the chat actually. Uh... Your toxicity looks pretty high. Probably got loaded before cryo. Oh, you a doctor as well? No, toxicity is my hobby. <laughs> the team who worked on this uh, also did a 3D Ace Ventura oh, game. Uh, my God. He's looking. Is that Ty? I think this is Ty, and this is where we get a chance to learn a little bit more about him, or we can just swipe on past him, or learn about company orders, whatever that may be. Let's see. What do you think? All right, check challenge. Do you think Ty uh, bit someone's teeth out? That was weird, right? That that's, was weird. That's not something I've ever seen in a video game before. No Ty content. Continue, continue, learn nothing. <laughs> I'm seeing a mix of company orders and continue here. Bollocks, Ty. I fucking agree with that. No more Ty. Yeah, you know what? This is my story. Ty doesn't have to be a part of it. We'll go ahead and continue. To the tours three. Well, we're all here for something, Doc. Even you. Ooh, radical. Okay, Frappe mentions this was actually, uh, these were all meant to be separate webisodes streamed online as in five to ten minute, uh, bits. Wow. Quibbies, you may say. <laughs> the first quibby. Quick bites. The first quibby was Gravity Angels. Okay, we're back to the, the first lady here. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and see her history. See if she's someone we should revive. Or leave her to rot like Ty. Y'all know nothing about Ty. You've already decided that you hate him. That's it, baby. Come on. You know uh, he wants it. Come on. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's not Friday. I don't appreciate you going over my head, Felice. You fake those tests and people are going to die. The company disagrees. What? Given the release dates for those new drugs, they've endorsed my approach. Over my dead body. You can register your complaints from Ganymede. You wouldn't dare. I need to know if there's an increase in amoeba during the moon's conjunction. Well, there are dozens of people who could do that. But you're so conscientious, Felice. I'll only have two days after I Don't get knock there. On the I tank. can't do all that. Fish hate that. Then you'll just have to wait for the next conjunction of the moons, won't you? Twelve months. You're marooning me in that hellhole for twelve months? Take plenty of books. Wake up, tube steak. <sighs> Come on, wake up. This guy's really done a job on himself. <laughs> Slap the shit out of time. <laughs> <What? laughs> Keep yeah, keep going. Get his ass! <laughs> He's Correct. upside down. I think we found our preferred character here. <laughs> no booze before snooze. Do I know you? Is this man all right? As soon as he remembers his name, he's gonna be fine, Doc. <laughs> well, it ends up we had to revive everyone, so choice is an illusion. Just like in real life. Arrival directed. Dr. Felice Jacobs. Alright, chat wants to see Ty get slapped on loop here. <laughs> this guy's legs are too long! Did you see his legs? It's disgusting! Must be related to that guy from Lunacy. Brief research party for assignment. Proceed directly to Ganymede base. Okay, what are we doing here? Are we going to let Ty pilot the ship? Are we going to see his story? Don't you want to see his story? Come on, this is your third chance to see his story. Or are we going to let the lady take charge and pilot the ship? All right, the choice uh, is yours. Uh, doctor pilot the ship, fuck Ty, girl pilot, uh, lady pilot, pilot ship, girl pilot. I see I see a couple Ty stands, but I also see some <laughs> Ty anti stands well, here. Well, Ty but stands it's... are being drowned out by mm -hmm. people who want to see the lady pilot the ship. <laughs> All right. Oh, do I need a drink? I'm supposed to be the main <sighs> character. I'm amazed you can even see. Solaris to Callisto for. He's a drunk, I guess. <laughs> it's rough. She does seem competent compared to everyone else, so probably the best choice. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna just shove Ty into space. <laughs> Make him walk the space plank. <laughs> Attention all orbiting Ganymede space traffic. This is Ganymede Air and Space Traffic Control. Cross check with SatNav. All orbiting space traffic to clear Catherine Station slug launch path. Repeat all orbiting space <laughs> Love his future hey, flask. Fucking huh? space path. whiskey. He had it in his arms while he was cryogenically frozen. Cryogenically. It's this emotional support liquor bottle, okay? Yeah. 
About time, Solaris. Had yeah, this with me since far. kindergarten. Right, been ready to roll. FedEx access approach to zero one eight. Sorry, Niner. Piss off. Solaris. Sorry, not you. Wow. Did you do everything <laughs> by the book? I do not do everything by the book. Y'all picked right. I Step love her. Away. Engage safety lockdown. I love when their expressions suddenly change. There's no transition whatsoever. Solaris to Callisto 4, please deploy cargo. Mmm, give me some of that good lava. In granola bar form. Next time it's amateur hour, you all let us know. So, based on what you've seen, do you want Ty to take charge? Give it a little bit of a man's touch? Or do you want the lady to continue piloting the ship? Uh, I see. Continue, 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 continue. I mean, Ty has shown continue. such great leadership uh, throwing his liquor flask across the cabin of a space vehicle. <laughs> yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's, let's continue on our path. Firing line of the rail gun? Have fun. <laughs> Ty's not looking great in this playthrough so far. Maybe he'll redeem himself. I'd forget the rule book if I were you. Start your prep. Attention all orbiting Ganymede space traffic. Say friggin' prep. Yes. <laughs> space traffic control. I love all her, by space the way. Space preps. Clear slug launch path. Space slug launch in T minus 10. Mark. Space goss versus space preps. <laughs> Well, <laughs> the choices are here right on the screen. Should we freak out or prisoner Reese? There's no verb there. Freak it's out, just... freak out. Uh... Do, All right. do people want to freak out? People want to People want to have a... It's a psychobilly freak, freak out. Yeah, Let's do want... it. Yes. When in doubt, freak out. Whoa, this isn't good. Oh, I'm drunk as shit. Request permission to freak out. Space traffic. This is Ganymede Air and Space Traffic Control. All orbiting space traffic to clear Catherine Station slug launch path. Repeat, all orbiting space traffic to clear Catherine Station slug launch path. Pod secured, out of here. Just one problem. Space slug launch in T minus 10. It'll miss us. Start deceleration now. Hey, trust me. Wow, Ty. Mother of God. Have a couple. <laughs> I did not expect to see PS1 era vomit to come right towards us in 3D. Trust you. Right. Oh, man. That was whoo, crazy town. <laughs> crazy town. My favorite band. You're my butterfly, sugar, baby. <laughs> this might be the best thing we've ever played. I have you now. Degenerate. <laughs> I'll consider it a pretty controlled freakout. I she threw up, but come on. Oh, nice clipping. Danny, whatever you paid for this game was not enough. This is incredible. <laughs> it was literally like three dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> A lot of footage devoted to landing and acquiring cargo for whatever reason. I mean. Aren't you interested in space logistics? No, I want to. <laughs> I want to hang out with these freaks some more. <laughs> you just want to see the freaks flip out. Yeah, I'm I here for the freak that. show. Look at that. Losers incoming. We'll need a distraction. Keep them away from the dive room. Too easy to mess up. Not a word about this, Clay. Welcome to Ganymede. Jazz, we're gonna have to make you a life member. <laughs> you okay, Green? Here's my duty manifest. You'll notice my priority. I'll be diving in an hour. Yeah, well, it could be a problem. Ain't that right, Cobb? 
And who might you be? Green. <laughs> this head's so jittery. Can I outrank you? And this isn't a matter of rank. Tracking camera technology really premiered in Goodfellas. All led up to this. <laughs> our submersibles are being retrofitted. Sorensen here's our engineer. He All right. What are we going to do here? You got another chance to see Ty's story. Ty's story is something super important. This is something like the fourth or fifth time they brought it up. Or we can cut to the chase and have everyone team up and solve, I don't know, whatever with the teamwork. Or do you want the lady to go it alone? Um, I see a, I, it seems pretty mixed between team and alone, but I think it's trending towards team. Well, we work well together. Uh, that one guy can throw his liquor bottle around. The other mm -hmm. guy can force feed us some muffins and make us vomit. I like that. Yeah, yeah this is a team. good. This is a good we team can. dynamic. And yeah. The access corridor is damaged. Out of the question, I'm afraid. That whole scene where the vomit happened, like a million things happen in the space of five seconds. I'm gonna mm -hmm. have to rewatch that. Oh, it's it's the bar from Deep Space Nine. There's Quark. Oh, he's looking great after plastic surgery. Excuse me, who's that? No, no. Sir, your uniform does not fit. Pan the please, camera back. Please uh, contact your superior officer for fitting clothing. <laughs> what's that polygon that... Yeah, look at that. Yeah, See? I love that. They just, what are you just doing? pop in. Oh. <laughs> Do you need a refill Time. or... Seeing how bad the damage is to the corridor that leads to the dive room. All I need is one dive. I take a couple of amoeba samples, make my report, and I'm on the next transport home. You heard what Green said. The corridor's damaged and the subs are out of action. still drinking! She's the only one who knows what she's doing. No, I don't trust Green. Your lock code has changed since I was here last. Well, according to this, the corridor's a no-access zone, and the door in the dive room's been sealed from Green's command section. All I have to do is open that, and I'm in. And the boy Wonder here is going to open that door for me. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, how badly damaged can that corridor be? At worst, it's lost internal pressure, so we wear vac suits. We? And when did this become a group effort? As for the subs, <laughs> when be I a picked problem group for effort, an engineering <laughs> genius like you. Come on, what's the worst that could happen? You get me killed? Getting sucked outside to a surface wind of 20 knots, sub zero temperature, and toxic atmosphere? Yeah, you could die. This old piss green off. Count me in. All right. Well, this should do it. Oh, oh, now all we gotta do is get to the dive room. <laughs> Fine. That's all. I'm he had one of them butterfly keyboards. <laughs> he did. Those are expensive now. What are they? Story? I don't well, know. That sucks. She was assigned to Green's security team, but he's got her doing latrine duty. What a waste. I guess the good doctor needs our help. I'll get killed. And I'll get us a little more muscle. I'll get killed. We'll see. <laughs> Hey, the, his bottle really does look like a bottle of syrup. Maybe, maybe he's just, uh... <laughs> it's, his, it's his, uh, Mrs. Butterworth supply. Mm -hmm. Police, the door's been welded shut. We're on our way. Gordy, man, how is it hanging, you big, hunkin' metal piece of thing? Got you, got you hauling rocks down to mining, huh? Well, don't worry, I'm here now, and things are gonna be a whole lot better, just like last time. Oh, oh he loves his robot. I can I kiss it. Well... I'm sure you can. Rip out its teeth. I figure the sooner we get you off Ganymede, the easier it'll be for all us mere mortals. Yeah, and we'll put a little critter up the company's butt. Okay, what's your point? Uh, <laughs> Excuse me? We get time Please don't do that, door sir. Door. <laughs> These options it keeps giving us. So, do we want a Folks. killing frenzy? Or... Never have the choices been more clear. <laughs> nuke the door! Killing frenzy. Kill nuke, kill or nuke, nuke door. Nuke, kill, 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 nuke, kill. Okay. The people want both of these. These these both seem pretty bad to me, but I mean, uh, well, we're gonna have to go with what the crowd says. Mm -hmm. Do you see more kills or more nukes? It genuinely seems tied. Mm. I for every kill there's a nuke, and every nuke there's a kill. So, okay, you wanna you wanna rock paper scissors? I'll I'll represent a killing frenzy, and you represent setting off a nuke in a, a closed space. Right? Okay, it'll be one two three go. You okay, ready? ready? One, one two three go. go. Uh, we both we both, we both threw rock. One, two, two three, three, go. Up. Alex picked paper. It's killing frenzy, baby. We get the killing frenzy. Okay, so what's plan it's B? Maybe an early ending for the Gravity Angels crew. Jazz, can you offline a safety? Now, just a minute. Hey, trust me. Worst case, what do we got? RKF. Robot killing frenzy. Reese, seal the airlock and equalize pressure with outside atmosphere. 
Let's do it. Sure, just distract Gord for me. Robot, tear open airlock door. Unable to comply. Behavioral inhibition. Protocol 3. Robot, tear open airlock door. Unable to comply. Behavioral inhibition. Protocol 3. That is as good as I can do. Well, here goes nothing. Let's kick it. Robot, tear open airlock door. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Jazz, kill it fast. Jazz, Gord! Its name's Gord. No, Gord! Okay, this is it. Gord, tear open the door. Oh, poof. I voted for killing frenzy. Where's the killing frenzy? Yeah, where's killing? The corridor's not damaged. It's not there. Well, this ain't Kansas. They well, it's, it it's interactive, but it doesn't necessarily do what you want. I guess we're gonna have to walk. Gord, attach what are we doing here? Are we fire firing a grapple, or are we attaching safety? I hate safety, personally, but I love grappling hooks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's just me, though. Don't let me uh, color your decision. Uh, people want the grapple, so I see fuck safety. F I've seen three different fuck safeties, so we got a grapple. Oh, yeah, this yeah. is grapple town. Fuck safety. It's time to grapple. It's your safety line to the dive room and return. Why, Ty? He can shoot it out there with his grappling gun. Yeah. Listen to the stoner. Mm -hmm. Gord, please aim grapple pin. Still waiting on that killing frenzy. Door, Jazz, reset the safety. Later. Gord, Maybe that comes later. Fire Maybe. grapple pin. Needs work on its aim. Engage winch. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe if I waited it, it would put a little bit of Hey, relax, Jazz. I'll fire it manually. No, you guys are useless. I'll attach the safety line myself. <laughs> Someone want to reset this thing safety codes? The lady took over the narrative from us, because we don't know any better. She's like, no, no, no. Come on, come on. Take this. Civilians. Oh, thanks a lot, Kel. What if Sega CD games did that? Like, no, no, I'm taking over. You don't just ah, you okay? God. No, no, wrong decision, folks. This storm's getting bigger. Oh, you can feel the tension. What did that one Look at those models go. Look at those. Like 3D models go. Looks like one of them's carrying a bow and arrow. I think it's, it looked like a giant steering wheel to me, but I guess that's a safety. Gonna have to enter survival mode, killing stuff with a bow and arrow. Alright, Otto calls this the Final Fantasy VI opening. <laughs> it pretty much is. Heading to the mining town of Narsh. They found some kind of, what you call, Esper? The door's frozen over. Stand clear while I bust the ice loose. Watch yourself. More grunting. Restoring pressure and oxygen. Thanks. Now we can breathe in here. Retrofitting the subs. Yeah, right. Ooh, can you can you hack us Voice up some more subs? Jacobs. Mm. F three zero one. One a foot long. Thank you. I was thinking like Twitch subs. Oh, that's what like five six thousand will do. Let me try. What are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. What? Look at this. <laughs> so they're dead now, right? I can't breathe. Oh. In. Police is in trouble. Hey, you can't. It's not accurate enough. It's it's tie her face plate up. It won't close. I'm firing the grapple pin out to you. Attach her and I'll hold her back in. It's not uh, accurate enough. You're that seems like a good plan. I'll take it out for personally. <laughs> well, Team Rescue or Jazz Solo? Well, I do love Jazz Solos in general. Uh-huh. But 
Um, let's see chat and I see that we have some uh, we have some jazz fans and uh, jazz 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 oh I see a sax too solo jazz jazz okay there All we right. go it's time for my jazz solo okay here it goes clear, jazz. I know what I'm doing. prepare for a 15 minute this. jazz odyssey on the soprano saxophone <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> <laughs> Take your time. It's all right, man. Someone's uh, suffocating in an atmosphere they can't breathe. That's it's fine. Stop and observe. <laughs> Oh, is this the plan? I thought they were going to use that to wrench her helmet back into place. Wait, it's fixed now. Wait, why are they doing this? Like, what no, are they this, doing? Is, this is unnecessary. They're just bonking this poor lady around. The helmet's like a, fixed. Like a rag doll. Jazz. This is the worst jazz solo ever. Pivot right. Okay, now wrap it around the walker's legs. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> you enjoyed that. Uh, it's small pleasures. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yes, I did enjoy that. Someone open that door on us, Ty. Sabotage. Rubbish. Company losers looking for an easy way home. No, no, cop. There's serious charges. I'll definitely look into it. You know, Green, you could really get to piss me off. Ooh. He said the P word. Piss, piss count? Two. <laughs> I think that's the only cuss they're allowed to say. I, I, I'm sorry, I, I am just enthralled. Yeah, this is the best movie I've seen in a long time. Mm -hmm. Went to the surface on a planet and tried to go inside, but they were rebuffed. What's they... gonna happen next? And when are they gonna get to the space lasagna? Precious space okay, lasagna. This is the last section of the corridor. All right. <laughs> yes, exactly. This game is rated T for Ty. <laughs> last section of corridor. Are they building an FPS level? <laughs> Kel, you have position. Build Doom 3 in real time. Okay. Easy. Easy. And. A little bit sexual. Calm, calm it down. Time! You're okay. Just the ice compacting. Ease down. Salt is harder than I thought. Yeah, that's why they sent us here. I wasn't sent. I volunteered. <laughs> You go ahead, uh, head back, I'll finish this. That's shocking, I guess. This is a place for uh, space prisoners, though. Dude, that thing needs four windshield wipers. <laughs> That's how big <laughs> it is. We still building this thing? <laughs> Just Hold drop on. it. Hold on! Why are we even building this? So, did you know there are other games Peace in the fun. series? And one of them's even on DVD. That's the twist. Oh. There's actually four games in this series. What? So we better keep watching. Oh god, no! If we really like this, I can get the other three DVDs. But that's up to y'all. Hmm. This is a four chapter series. Because it's just so enthralling, right? I mean, I love. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! This is the <laughs> somehow I have the feeling it's going to come down between two choices here. But first of all, we have Zap, 
We have okay. Angel Research, and we have um, Censored. Um, I have to say, Ch- Chad wants one thing and one thing only, and they're a bunch of fucking freaks. Danny, yeah. it's time for Censored. Let me put my head. I pulled out my headphones because I was laughing so hard. Well, I guess I don't have a choice. Mm-hmm. Get your Rolos ready, because we're about to head into the censored zone. There we go. This is rated T for teen. I, it's not going to be any nudity, but still. I still expect it to be sexy. Ah! And it is. What is this? Master. I don't know. <laughs> oh, he's watching Why space porn. Pillows, maybe. <laughs> Good. He's watching the cyber webcam. Oh no. I downloaded the wrong porno after off of Kazaa. <laughs> I was gonna say this porno is filled with, with uh, bugs, man. Who's been watching that porno? Oh, I love the way her. That makes me want to drink. <laughs> you get some more syrup in me. Old-fashioned Canadian hard maple syrup. Oh, he decided not to. Oh! A turning point for Ty. Emotional growth. Proud of you, Ty. That's mm-hmm. real hard. And he did it without words, too. Dang. Up to your Spielberg. <laughs> I fixed the corridor. You've got access to the dive room. Who is she? Oh, now everyone's watching his porno. His worst dreams have come true. This signal's infecting every computer in the complex, and it's not coming from the base. Oh I didn't download it, it just appeared on my desktop. If this is real, she's not human. <laughs> what is Sorry. she, then? I thought she looked like Margaret Thatcher Maybe. for a second. <laughs> <laughs> she's back, and she's pissed. Whoa, hey. Who are you? Looks like someone's diving to find out. Green and Cobb. This is why they pulled the corridor apart. To stop anyone investigating. Now we know. Come on, let's find out what's going on here. Oh, need some, need some steady hands there? My samples will have to wait. An alien life form. That's so much more important. It's every biologist's dream. And look at that, Ty. One perfect sub. Oh, look at these readings, man. It's definitely down there, whatever it is. What is you it? coming? Just try and stop me. Can you handle Green? Okay, oh, did I miss Elf? I was looking at chat for a second, and now they're hollering Elf. I regret this. I hope we get to see another shot of Elf. There's gonna be people in control. First thing they teach you. There's this no camera was in control. <laughs> what would I do with it? Yeah, right. Folks, what'll it be? Do we want to deceive this lady who just karate kicked a, a wall and a crowbar came out, or do we want to threaten? Actually, who's doing the threatening and who's doing the deceiving? I think the lady with the pipe is threatening and the lady with the mask, oh, good good job, is uh, deceiving. So, threaten, deceive, deceive, threat. This is really mixed. Um, yeah, it's not really clear who's doing what. We're just having to deal with, like, what one word may mean as opposed to the other one. So, it's really like 50-50 here. Okay, so what do you think? It's up to you, Danny. Do you want to threaten with the pipe? Or deceive with a face mask and do your social distancing. Well, All right, I'm seeing it trending more towards deceive. So okay, yeah. That, as as per current events, I have to, I got to be the adult here and tell you, yes, you should wear your mask and yes. deceive. You're deceiving the pandemic. Well, look, maybe there's another way to do this. Please, please. You haven't seen White Rat, have you? Uh, no. Why? Disease control experiment that escaped. What kind of disease? Hemorrhagic gineriosis. Deadly. She, there was, she, she say there was a rat? I think it was a disease. Maybe we should wait outside. Hey, I'd leave the entire building. <laughs> yeah, threaten and deceive okay, or deceive yeah. that threaten. <laughs> Thanks for doing this. I couldn't have you flying blind. You got the wrap yet, Jess? Come on, come on. Let's sit over there, Doc. Everyone's always so casual. Everyone said? Nearly. Just go. 
Yeah. Reese, we're out of here. Ah, the crane's jammed. Does nothing in this place work? Hold on, I'm gonna drop her. <laughs> Sorry, just yep. bonk. Just drop it. Oh, okay. The lady said there was a white rat with a fake disease going around. All right, cool, mm. cool. I think she was just lying, God, trying to get our hopes up. The, the, the sieve part. Jazz, you want to give me image from wherever that signal's coming from? Feeling lucky? I feel lucky. You getting that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, static. Just what we. Will it be spy probe or sabotage? I like those both. These uh, these options. I'm noticing a trend here. They don't really give us enough context to decide either, any of these. Like. I guess these are important, but we'll only find out after we make the decision. All right, probe, probe, sabotage. It's it's mixed here already. It's a spy probe, not yeah. Okay, spy probe. Probe or sabotage? Probe or sabotage? Can we sabotage the probe? Ooh, Ooh. that's lateral thinking. That'll get you promoted. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, all right. Another fifty-fifty mix. I'm gonna go with um. You know what? Mm -hmm. Listen, to all y'all. Yes! Record everything, yes! no matter what. Watch yourselves. I should have gone with him. I love the wall that? textures. Mm -hmm. Is that a model of the submarine we're in? It's a baby submarine. Oh, it's an angel. Oh, what the hell is that? Maximum radio depth. Just getting hairy. Maybe another hundred feet. We've come this far. You sure we can handle this depth? You know me, Mr. Understatement. Look, we've done what we could. Mr. Understatement. Ty. What the... Whoa, what was that? What the piss? Yeah, they stop saying piss. Bring it back. Yeah. Jazz. Uh, how would I know? Oh, the mini-me's fucking with us. Somebody sent a probe after us. It's probing us. Yeah. What am I looking at? You know, I keep saying that. I have no idea what the fuck is someone, going uh, on. Someone update your Voodoo 3 drivers. <laughs> Get your systems up. They're up! The dang things disappeared, man! <laughs> yes, this is a PS5 exclusive. <laughs> yep. You're getting the, the top... Uh, You'll play this by the end of the year. Mm-hmm. Getting a sneak preview here of the hottest game of uh, 2020. Chapter 1, anyway. Mm-hmm. Chapter 2 is coming in 2021. Whole lot of sitting, ideas. sitting and looking. Go. Get off us! I don't like the sound of that. Little bastard. Ugh. That's bad, right? Please. Oh. Two seconds. Uh, that looked bad. Ty has a metal arm. And uh, things are happening. Yeah, shake it off. No, nope, don't do it. There. What are we gonna do? This little bastard's trying to drill into our submersible. Are we going to counterattack, or are we going to battering ram? What do you think is more likely to help us survive this situation? <laughs> if it were you, trapped in uh, a submersible vehicle... Chad is... Battering ram, battering ram, batter, 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 ram. No, uh, we will never go to the surface. We will constantly batter that ram. Like okay. Beautiful it, piece of chicken. It's looking, it's looking like battering ram is battering winning, ram. so let's do it. Let's, let's batter that ram. Nice. Ooh, poor Ty. 
I hope he had a drink in him before that. Ran the probe against the rocks. Wait a minute, it was a metal hand, it couldn't have hurt. Wh whatever. Uh, they, they installed nerve sensors in it because they're assholes. <laughs> this is not sexual. It's not, Danny. Definitely not. Mm, that's the good stuff. Mm, how to put in some drugs. Now what? It's not ours. Will you just stay away from that police cow? <laughs> that's me. Oh. We're like 20 feet underwater, right? Can't we just swim up? Did we suddenly dive like 20,000 leagues under the sea? I hope someone throws up again. Oh, nice work. Of course, I never had any doubt. Oh, uh, okay, we battered. Uh, Ty, you okay? Um, my hand has a hole in it, Felice. I've got to get you both to medical. Whoa. What is it? That's what I'm saying. The beautiful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> lady! That's, that's not my first thought, but all right. Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> You're right, Cameron. It's a real player skin. It is. Is that it? I can't. We did it. Oh, wow. That was a whole ass hour, too. Beautiful. That's, that's literally how it ends. Really? <gasps> oh, That's a real, yes. real Shinmu 2 ass ending right there. But all right, that's the first of four yeah. entries in the Gravity Angels series. Thank you for the you did it. I don't know if we deserve them. Good but job, I'll take everybody. It. Yeah. You successfully piloted us through all kinds of space disasters. People who wanted to see us fail, uh, little bastards who wanted to drill into our submersible. We survived it all, thanks to your skill and wit. I was gonna say, technically these should be we did it, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, thank we you did. All. It. You did beautifully. Oh my we god. We all worked together, and that's how we survived this thing. So. uh... So what's the verdict? Do we want to watch more of this? Because I don't have the other discs, but I can acquire them. It all depends on what the folks think. If you think this is a waste of time, just tell me, don't bother. But if you want to see more of the Gravity Angels series, there is more out there. Absolutely. You gotta get them. You I, do. Yeah, I am pretty invested at this point. I want to see what the hell that was. The, the most beautiful thing I've ever seen, according to that one lady. Okay, <laughs> so tentatively... I'm going to try and acquire Chapter 2 of the Gravity Angels Saga, and we'll see that at some point in the future. Apparently Chapters 3 and 4 are really rare, so <laughs> uh, I luck, hope this Danny. is really good. It's got to be worth it, though. Yeah. That's amazing. Well, Incredible. While these go, we got to call real quick. Okay. Uh, beautiful. Tell me, tell me if there's any, any, uh, any good, any, any good uh, credits here. Okay. Congrats, folks. Everyone survived, too. Even the space druggie, Ty, our beloved Ty. Uh, other guy who didn't have a name. Maybe he did. The guy who got slapped a lot. Oh, wait, that was Ty. Thanks to the Multipath Movie Development Toolkit. <laughs> Get three and four off of Kazan. <laughs> you know, I bet their file sharing service only exists now to, uh, to share future chapters in this. Also gotta love the, the hubris in naming your studio Brilliant Digital Entertainment. Yeah! Alright, good work everyone. We successfully survived. Uh, our progress will carry over. Our commanding officer will remember the decisions we made and the things we said about him. Actually, probably not. You know what? Since we're here, I'm gonna start the adventure again. And we're gonna check out Ty's story, damn it. Ty's story must be told. What's his deal? I'm back. Did the, did the angels solve the gravity problem? They did. Cool. I'm proud of them. We're gonna see Ty's story. <laughs> no! Oh, that sucks! I don't. 
All right, uh, no, 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 Ban Dan, permission denied. I'm canceling my sub, Ban Dan, Ban Dan. Well, if we're going to see chapter two, we got to find out what the leading man, uh, what his backstory away. is. All right, uh, looks like we are losing all our followers. Everyone's tied. leaving. Tied, tied, tied. The source of Oz uh. somewhere near Alpha Centauri. So they leased Ganymede to the colonists. And the colonists continued to mine whatever osmium they could. The six of us had been sent by Miller Western to be forgotten about for a while. Kind of a punishment. That was the deal Miller Western struck. Oh, this is a summary in case you weren't paying attention. Misfits there. They told the colonists would be a rescue team. <laughs> There's a talking headset. So we were on two counts. One, because we were outsiders, and two, because the colonists figured they didn't need no fancy rescue team. And made us stick together. Ganymede was a lonely place if you didn't stick together. Did we just kind of trail off listening to him? Stuff happens before you're born, like really wicked rock and roll and unsaturated. That it? And that was the entirety of Ty's story. <laughs> Suck. <laughs> His whole backstory amounted to like five seconds of summary. Here's good news. Okay, I've had multiple people ask this. Was this done by the people who did Cyber Swine? Yes. Okay. They did Cyber Swine. They did an Ace Ventura 3D adventure game, which is different from the one we played on Multimedia Monday. Mm -hmm. And their final game, I think, was a Superman game. So if you like what you saw here, ah. we may be able to see more of it on Multimedia Monday. By which I mean, I wash my hands of it and Alex is in charge. Alright, chat's screaming for trailers. Good news, there's trailers. Okay. I'm not sure if any of these were ever actually released, but please enjoy. <laughs> Cause I sure did. What? Imagine this, but with vampires. He could be that doctor. I'm so sad this doesn't exist. Maybe it does. Maybe there's a prototype out there somewhere. Surprise! <laughs> Expect to see every frame of this posted on the Good Faces Twitter account in the next week. This fucking rocks! What the hell? Yeah, I I'm so sad that that doesn't exist. Prove me wrong, though. We'll play it if it exists. But they didn't just do vampires, cause they also wanted to do a movie about mummies. The mummy who wanted die. Faces. Nobody lives forever. Oh, I love that game. Except me, the mummy who wouldn't die. Oh my god, the mummy who wouldn't die. Ooh, there's a third one? I haven't seen this one. What is it, like Frankenstein? Wolfman? About to Halloween party! Evil spirits, demons of hell, grant me the power to conjure a spell. Oh, she's when a kitty. The of evil are unleashed. <laughs> know what might happen. Yes. Vampires only come out on Halloween, and boy, are they hungry. This is one Halloween Beth and Peter will never forget. Trick or treat! <laughs> Amazing. So, if you ever come across any of those in any form, like final release, early alpha, pre-development, anything, please, please tell me, because I want to showcase it really, really badly. What? Sandy? Yeah? Hot news. These are those, those, those? Okay. They're based, those, those things, they're based on the Goosebumps Choose Your Own Nightmare series of books. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, I want... Ooh, I'm, I'm turning to a gremlin. I'm so excited about that. Wow. Well, that's just for the future, maybe. We'll have to see. But for now, that is Gravity Angels Chapter 1, Alien Discovery. Chapter 2 coming TBA. You'll mm -hmm. see. Next up, we have the game that our patrons voted to see. Why don't you uh why don't you change the title and I will change the disc. Right. And why don't you put up some box art? 
All right, so we are going to play Tea Society of a Witch. Uh, uh, let's see here. Here's the box art. And oh my god! Danny, I... So, so... So what do you think? Art. Yeah, art. Are they... I'm looking at them and I'm like, are these... Are these spiders? <laughs> are these spider hybrids? Look at their eyes. They're half witch, half spider. Yeah. Okay. I think that's, okay. I think so that's they're what it okay. Is. I'm getting mega spider vibes off of them. Like I look at them and. Okay, so. I joked about Gravity Angels having no presence based on its cover art. It used like two colors. It was a bunch of pre-rendered shit that all just kind of blended together. This. You take one look at this, and you instantly know if this is something you want to buy or not. Mm -hmm. There is no question about that. That is some excellent, excellent box art right there. A uh, few notes, first of all. This is an English localization of a Sega Dreamcast game that was ported from a PC Arrow Gay. Luckily, all adult content, hey. all nudity, all sex have been removed from the Dreamcast release, and therefore they're not in this version. Uh, that said... Still some scantily clad animes in here, so you probably don't want to watch this at work. Yeah, uh, if you're watching at work, sorry. It also tends to linger on them a little bit too long, which if I... Here's the rule. If we get too uncomfortable, we're going to skip ahead, because that's how this works. Thank but my you. promise to you and the Twitch cops is you will not see any sex or nudity. That is a pledge. That is a promise. All right. With all that said, please enjoy Tea Society of a Witch. Hold on, I need to... Not on Blu-ray. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Practicing here. Okay. And yeah, just in case. There's a babe. Okay. I'm also going to hold off on the horny jokes, because that's what they want, and I don't want to give them the satisfaction. Mm -mm. As far as I know, these are chaste anime witches. They are normal witches who just happen to be spiders. <laughs> this is an interesting... spiders. It's Even interesting spiders. to showcase this, though, because... How often do you see visual novels ported to DVD-ROM? Or not even DVD-ROM, DVD video. Is that the preferred format of visual novel uh, connoisseurs? I don't know. Does my Xbox want to play this? Wait a Hold full on. minute, then give it another try. All right, that is a good sign. <laughs> it is, is it trying to save us? Is it trying to save us from the Twitch cops? I've evaluated this. There's nothing, nothing that'll get us banned. Okay. It pulled this shit on me before, though. I think I need to eject. All right. Yeah, get that out of there. This was working. It's like Tilly spiders. I hate it. <laughs> okay, Devil Ray, who knows a bit about this, says this is actually pretty common. There's a whole market for DVD, uh, uh, PG uh, visual novels. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. That, that makes sense. All right. Here we go. Avoid long viewing time. Done. So yeah, Hirameki produced quite a few of these in the early 2000s, and I guess there were more after that, but I'm not the one who knows about it. Drill, the witch. <laughs> Localized Dreamcast game on DVD video. How often does that happen? Well, probably happened a couple more times. Right. Many different spiders. Coming from woods, that last one was. <laughs> and yeah, the art style is very early 2000s. Uh, looks to be kind of Digi Carrot inspired. A little bit. I like their surf rock theme song. Yeah, it's, it's very moe, but I, I think, you know, I know they're moe, but again, I know I, I keep harping on it. They really spider eyes. I'm sorry, <laughs> man. Maybe at the end it turns out they're spiders. I mean, maybe Alex will be proven right. Prove me right, And you game. can be like, see, I told you they were spiders. They were so obviously spiders. <laughs> now, this has multiple roots, and it takes place across multiple days. And it gives you a password at the end of each day, so there is a save function in this game, unlike Gravity Angels. 
Okay, I hope they're spiders. I don't think they're spiders. And they're not Moe. They are Funko Pop. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's that's a little bit too on the nose. Yeah, that's they're very Funko-ish. But let's start. Also, if you want to laugh, uh, look up the walkthrough for this game on GameFAQs. A complete walkthrough over the course of an 8 to 10 hour game involves like 5 or 6 choices. And that's it. <laughs> Typical for visual novels, but still. Really? I should be reading the boys parts, because he's not voiced. Why'd they fight? How do you know about this? <laughs> oh, okay. Who did? Oh yeah, these are lo-fi hip-hop uh, beats to to chill. Look at Spider Witches by. Mm -hmm. Got my finger on the chapter skip button. Why'd you come here? I have a lot of questions. It's also a very lengthy game, so we're only going to sample this, but hopefully we get some idea of what it's like to play a visual novel on a DVD player. Okay. Is it important? Do you want me to help you look for it? Why? Why? But why? I think I was killed. Uh, she, she killed you so she could wrap you into her web and... That must be what it is. Grandma? Grandma? <laughs> oh, sounds awful, yo. <laughs> the boy who kept asking questions got hit by a truck or something. <laughs> We've not seen any characters yet. It's keeping like, us in suspense. Yeah, for a visual novel, there's not a lot of visuals. It's a sound novel right now. Mm. Oh, can eternal love bring me back from being hit by a truck? No. It is against the rules. Mm -hmm. Should I really get hit by- did we really get hit by a fucking truck? Something happened, or a bus, or a tractor, or- Taisetsu namono means something important. There's your Japanese lesson for the day. Thank you. Ding dong. When are we gonna see the spiders? We'll get to the spiders. Okay, okay. I just the cover. Spiders <laughs> ringing our doorbell right now. That's me. See, they're ringing with each of their little legs. No answer, huh? Well, same as always. We are now Rokosuke. Okay. Oh well. Auntie, uncle, coming through. I'm busting down the door. Politely. By using the doorknob. Well... So we find this anime lady sleeping, and we have to coax her awake. And let's just go ahead and skip her ahead. And now we eat ships. Wait, are we just eating chips? Yeah. Oh, boring half-naked <laughs> anime lady. I'm gonna go eat chips. That is no excuse. I was hungry. I got you up fast, and if you... Uh, who cares about those? I wanted to eat snacks. I'm gonna do that. All forehead, all eyes. And look at those legs! Jeez! I mean, not like in a sexual way, but like, wow! Just impressively large. They're hiding all her spider legs. <laughs> that's what, that's mm -hmm. what it is, yeah. Like, her arms are normal, but those legs are holding like four legs each. 
Oh yeah, in that last scene, she ranted on for like ten minutes about what underwear she should wear. Cause who gives a shit? Yeah, you know. Yeah. This girl is driving me. All right, why don't we just skip ahead there? Again, it's been thoroughly sanitized, so there's no nudity, but there is that kind of stuff, you know. I feel sorry for her parents. I hope you like this song, because they use this for every scene. It's <laughs> so generic. I just want to get to the spider witches. You done? Are you clothed? I'm glad some of y'all like the Moe girls, but tone it down. These are spiders. Yeah. <laughs> Played solitaire while we're trying to go to school. She... That eye! Where's her nose? I think you're too much of a critic. So this goes on for a while. Why don't we skip to the school part? She... Started bringing up again, but that face. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I believe you. I believe you. Or no way. We don't even know what the choice is for, so... No way! No way! <laughs> Fair enough. This is going well. More on here! Oh, 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 kick his ass! No you're, way! You're a fucking... Way. You're, you're a brown recluse! You could kill this man! What are you doing, lady? <laughs> Oh, maybe that's the theme. They're different kinds of spiders. Like, one's a Black Widow. <laughs> and this keeps going on, so why don't we just go to the school? I want to see the witch. I want to see some witchy stuff happen. Yeah. I love these overhead view screens. <laughs> Copyrighted production music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Chat, where's the tea? It's all witches right now. It's not even witches right now. It's just. Mm. We'll get to the tea society. Okay. I also hope that uh, we'll be able to survive no matter what happens. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> Okay, let's go on without her. To the school, and to the witches. I see how it is. It's time to <laughs> dig through the ditches, and burn through the witches, and slam to the back of my tea society. <laughs> Ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, no. hang on, hang on. Different song, hold on. I think we're about to meet someone. Everyone voted for this. Yeah, it's like, okay, we're gonna we're gonna not, not to pass any judgment. This is a pretty interesting showcase that shows stuff that we usually don't stream. And on a format we don't usually stream. It's education. Oh. I'm sorry, did you say this sucks? <laughs> no, I said I'm very glad everyone chose this game, so I could... It's almost like there was some kind of room in the night sky. Meet the witch. Honestly, if we got copyright struck and destroyed because of Tea Society of a Witch, that's just fate. You yeah. just gotta accept what the, the world gives you. Was that someone's voice? Oof, they really stretched things out. I'm gonna crash. I'm closer to crashing now. What? Crash is imminent. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay. So why I don't... Wow. See, she's got her spider fangs out. 
hot, hot, hot. Oh, she's riding on some kind of leaf blower or something. I like that. All right. Acceptable. Let's try and work out what happened. My head hurts. My head is hot. Could something have struck me? Perhaps some kind of witch? Well, <laughs> we got our face fucked up. Yep. Let's just skip ahead for something interesting. Okay. You're the wow. one who can crash down on me. I'll go after a girl like you. Uh, I'm sorry. We're a bunch of fucking pricks. You're the one who came crashing down on me. Danny, oh, okay. You know what? You can be a dick. Our face will never be the same. Motorcycle? Alright. Alright, folks are calling her gremlin like. I think she's the little gremlin. She's quite gremlin like. I think she's like a gremlin. She's like the spider gremlin from Gremlins 2! That's her! Oh my god. Don't do not give her any pocky after midnight. I, I saw this movie. <laughs> do not do it. Oh, we're now being called a pervert. Get ready for 10 more hours of that. <laughs> well, I hope that's a learning experience for you all. Mm -hmm. If you hear an anime witch coming up on you, don't let her smack right into your face. <laughs> I'm sorry, too. That's how it was. Some days you're just walking down the street, you get your face punched in by an anime witch. And now what's gonna happen? I don't think Alex is a fan of this. Are, are, you, are you on your way to the costume ball or? Uh... <laughs> lady, lady, lady. Lady, it's eight. Lady. It's eight thirty in the morning. I mean. Oh. <laughs> this is some tea society. <laughs> <laughs> this is my day to be crazy people. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> <I'm> like... <laughs> oh Jesus! She wishes us luck. Oh, okay. She's probably also a spider. Oh god, okay, glad you like her. Keep it. Let's, don't uh, go too far, don't, chat, why okay? Don't we, uh, why don't we skip to school? Here we go. You ready? Yes. Here comes the music. Truly, you are seeking the kiss of the spider women in this game. <laughs> Let's go ahead. Just gonna skip a few more times so we can meet all the people we need to meet. This is Drill. She runs a very successful Twitter account. And all the ladies, the men are fawning over her, of course. And they're fawning over the gremlin as well, because that's how it goes. <laughs> so she's asserted that she can do magic. I can do magic too. A witch? What a total lie. Or, wow, really? <laughs> Let's let the chat have this one decision, since we're about to quit here. Alright, real quick while chat decides, uh, Magmaram gives us 100 bits and says, Fun drinking game, take a shot every time someone's eyes are drawn over their hair. One way or another, <laughs> you won't be annoyed in a fight in a few that, minutes. That drives me nuts too, thank you. <laughs> Let's see, I can do magic too, I can do magic too, I can do magic too, I can do okay. magic too. We are also a, right. uh, a male witch, also known as a warlock. Is mm -hmm. that how the terminology works? Sure. I can also do magic. Yes, Honto. See this pin? Oh, he's doing the wiggly pin trick. Classic. <laughs> Ma'am? Not to judge, but you're kind of a shitty witch. Wobble wobble. Her name is Nay, by the way. Okay, Nay. Wobble wobble. You are... Wow, still wiggling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do need a band game emote now. 
I think this game's about to be banned, yeah. Hey, shut up, gremlin. I'm trying to impress the witch. Okay, this is the last scene we'll watch. I've seen this part. So the, the crux of the story is you meet all these fantastical women and you're not really sure if they can actually do magic or if they're just making it up. So Nay here is going to try it out. If you want to see the rest of this game, it's available on the Dreamcast and on PC if you're 18 years or older. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Stupid. That's, that's not very, not very polite. Oh, this is just sad now. Phew, I said phew. All right. Phew. I saw the world glitch out for a second, so that's cool. What was that sound just now? Yeah, I'm getting real flying nun vibes from their bows here. A little bit. Ooh, ah. Yeah! <laughs> All right, chat uh, says, end this, please end this, end this. I can't handle <laughs> any more of this. Kick this game into the trash. Fair enough. But... Yeah, she took off an entire wall of the school. Alright, that's good at least. So that's a showcase, as is appropriate for a Wednesday showcase. This is uh, something we usually don't cover, and now we've covered it, and there's no need to cover any more of it. Tea Society of a Witch, one of many visual novels available for your DVD player. Go ask Grandma if you can borrow her DVD player. It goes on like this for many, many more hours. There's lots of passwords, lots of branching paths. If that's what you like, you might like this. So consider it, won't you? Hey, Next I'm, up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put, say something. Maybe don't consider this. You could, you could consider it. Okay, consider it, but really consider it before you make any choices, okay? <laughs> Next up, it's time to cleanse the old timeline with your friend and mine, Howie Mandel. Yes. Hang on a sec, I have to physically get up and change the damn disc. <laughs> Because for some reason the Xbox One doesn't have a disc changer in it. Ooh. Only one disc at a time, can you believe it? You know, that's one thing I miss about the 90s. Like 40 disc changers? Yes, God, bring that shit back. They, they got up to like 100 discs you could have in a CD player at a time. I mean, if, I mean Howie Mandela could be a T-Witch, you don't know that. Howie, Ma Howie Mandela could be, you know... Witch. Yeah, he could be a witch who enjoys tea. Oh. Here we go. I have one question for you, Alex. Fact or crap? You know what? If this is a DVD game, I'm choosing crap. You don't know that yet. All right, not for use in oil rigs or in prisons. Got it. This is for, this is for DVD game pros, so only play this if you have a subscription to Game Pro Magazine. Okay. Thanks to everyone who stuck around after the anime witch game. We're getting yeah. back to reality with Howie Mandel. Who wants to blow us up? I like that evil laugh. Hi, I'm Howie Mandel and welcome <laughs> this to This is Dirty Jobs. Or crap. Beat the Bomb, the explosively interactive DVD game that's packed with strange trivia, bizarre facts, and oh yeah, a ticking time bomb. That shouldn't worry you, because all you gotta do to beat the bomb is sniff out the facts from the complete crap. Hey, you could do that. That's a 50-50 choice, right? So come on. Come on. Let's not waste any more of my valuable come on. time. If you come think on. about what it takes to beat the bomb... Okay, press start now. Well, you can't make me. I'm gonna sit here. What are you gonna do? Give me an early game over like it's Super Shark or something? <laughs> I won't do that. All right, Howie Mandel is a is a coward. He's just gonna let us sit here forever. Damn. But yep, this is part of the same series that brought you Deal or No Deal and um, 
Would You Rather, which is another game that we have to play. I have it. If you like this, we can continue with more Howie Mandel games in the future. We have a lot, don't we? We do. I have why? multiple. I don't know why he's in so many games. I don't know why I bought so many games with Howie Mandel, but here it is. It's Beat the Bomb, Factor Crap. He's he's almost like an unofficial mascot of ours at this point. Kinda. We should have a Howie Mandel emote. Loading Factor Crap. Let's see how to play. This... I'm not familiar with this one. Okay, people. Your mission, if you should choose to accept it, is this. I don't. Stop the bombs from going boom by getting all the questions right. That's all I'm asking. Okay? <laughs> now, if you're playing in teams, now's the time to split yourselves up in, into teams, not... Never mind. If you're not, just work out which one of you is going to go first. While you're doing that, get someone to sort out the hot seat. Any chair will do, but make sure it's placed facing <laughs> make away. Make sure it's on from fire. The TV. For those yeah, you have that to be facing clear, away. I'm on the TV. So turn the chair away and put all the factor crap tokens in a pile. Yep, there's tokens Play that come with this DVD. Game, the team with the I don't think we're going to bother. Reads out the questions and controls the remote. Take turns to do this so everyone gets to go. Play fair, kids. No, his soul and patch is actually cool. Each other, again, Did you ever think about that? The questions and controlling the remote. I like it. The player with it the looks... remote reads out the questions. <laughs> the victim in the hot seat must decide whether it's fact or crap and shout out their answer. Can you the spread hives through touch? Selects the corresponding button on the screen that's with the left crap. and right arrows that's, on that's the DVD crap. remote and presses enter or Doesn't it depend okay. on what it is, though? If you get like, the answer right, know. the next question appears. But if you get it wrong or run out of time... I blow you up. Amazing. I love special effects. And the players who bomb out in the first round might be lucky enough to get a second chance. During standard rounds, you'll need to answer three. It's all a matter of taste. Some of us like hot anime spider women. Some of us like Howie Mandel's soul patch. <laughs> I prefer Howie Mandel. Sorry. If you're unlucky enough, you might also to get a be a spider. Around, things are a little different. Boom! To tokens here, you have to answer correctly. <laughs> I don't know why that excited me. I'm like, yes. We have a limited time to do it. Sometimes we're in a hurry and we want to finish fast. Just like in the standard round, someone not in the hospital. Ban Howie Mandel. I'm banning him. I'm in banning him in my brain right, right now. And the remote to the opposition. They're now in control of the bomb. If all four questions are answered correctly, and within the time limit, the person controlling the remote selects and activates the on screen stop button. Answer incorrectly, and the player holding the remote gets to select and activate the explode button. That's fun. End of each round, I'll tell you how many you got right. He and sounds how many convinced. Tokens you've won, just in case you have a problem counting. Howie's here for you. And to win the game, all you have to do is be the first player or team to collect 15 tokens. Pretty simple, huh? Okay, we got it. So are we playing? Are yeah. We... Okay. What are, you, what, are you, what are you waiting for? That's just, uh, it's just like the. Fuse. Yeah, yeah. I am you getting a, a strong the... Tim and Eric vibe from this. Oh, I don't know. Okay, it's loading factor crap slash data, Danny. Okay, first of all, I want to tell y'all about a Twitter this account I discovered earlier simple, today. But so are some people. So if you need to know, I found this thanks to Howie himself, who retweets this every so often. Mm -hmm. But if you just want to get right into it, select the team. But uh, why don't you enjoy this while we no, Danny. while we play the game? Danny, no, no, this, this account is brilliant. All right, so how are we, how are we playing this? Are we going to be on the team? Or we, oh, my uh... tweet didn't go through. Okay, yeah, whatever. <laughs> no one needs to watch this stream. Hey, my tweet went through, so it's okay. So how are we doing this, Danny? Let's do a player game. Okay. Before we can light the fuse and get things underway, I need to know how many victims are... <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, how many players are going to be taking the hot seat? I get it. That would be just two players? Cool, cool. I like the idea that, that Howie Mandel is going to murder meat. me. I appreciate it. Fresh meat, and please. I'll be player one. Okay, times, okay. It ain't called the hot seat for nothing. Oh, am I in the hot seat? Mm -hmm. I guess you are. No pressure here, but you're playing for five big ones. Can you handle it? Hit start, and let's see. Oh, five big ones. Let's do it. Okay. Give me the big ones. Hmm. 
times. You're his. Oh no. What the fuck? All right, who's seen La Femme Nikita? Hasta la vista. Did you? Did you? Okay. Oh no. Uh -oh. oh no. Oh, Danny didn't know his. I only know 90s episodes of Saturday Night Live. You got two. Good for you. Give your brain a pat and pick up two tokens. All right, that's two for me. Okay. Keep count, everybody. All right. Player two. Yes. It's there you go. Oh hot, shit! I do have hot, to play. Hot. I'm not gonna get any of these. I had no idea what those questions. I, I it's did not hot, hot, them. hot. Okay. Just like it is here in Austin. Mm -hmm. We're in this room. <laughs> It's heating up. No pressure here, but you're playing for five big ones. Can you handle it? Hit start, and let's see. Get all those big ones. I do like big ones. Hey, we passed 70,000 views. Nice. Hey! Congrats! Yeah. That's crap. Oh, man! She drove a car? How did I not know that? She not, never that, drove a car? How did I not? Not in mm. any episode. Damn! Okay, good news and bad news. Bad news is, you only got one. The good news is, you're in the game. Yeah, it's true. Two to one. Danny's winning. I... Alright, player one. Feel the rush? It's almost Feel like I'm being exploded to by Howie Mandel. Or more to the point, beat the fuse. Before the fuse gets to... Well, I think you know the rest. You must answer all four questions correctly. Easy enough. Beat the rush hour. You've got 23 seconds. Oh, Ooh, 23 seconds for four questions. Here we go. You I'm got ready. this. Folks, nope. Die Hard McLean is an ex-hostage negotiator. That sounds, uh... Wait. How do you... What? How do you change... I don't... Stop? Explode? I couldn't pick any of the... But good? Does anybody know what's going on? <laughs> hey, 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 this is not supposed to happen. You managed to beat the bomb and win Rush Hour. I'll go on there. Just take four tokens. Enjoy yourself. Man, I kick ass. I didn't even read all the questions. I, I, I like... There you go, Alex. He really wants to murder you, Player Danny. Two, where are you? Back Should on we the change our locks? Baby. Come on. I think so. Okay, um... Four questions. 21 seconds. Now, no pressure here, but you're playing for five big ones. Can you How can you change whether they're fact or crap? I have no idea, but don't hit all the buttons randomly, because that might quit the game. Okay, I will do my best. I'm also confused. I don't know what's Turns going on. Turns out everybody's on. confused. You should, uh... Oh, yeah. Yeah. These the interactive DVDs so complicated. Oh, you get the, the regular one. All right. Oh, you're wrong. She's not the divine Miss M. Why did I think that? I know that's not true. That is, in fact, crap. Why? I was confused. I was just, I, I was entranced by Howie Mandel's beautiful head. You scored nothing. <laughs> you know what? Is this just, hmm, I'm just being yelled at. I think the score is like a billion to one. Get your butt back in the hot seat. Okay. Okay, fine. My butt is in the seat. Alright, fine. No, now okay. loading DVD four entertainment. Tokens, you gotta answer four questions without the bomb going off. Hit start. I'm ready, Howie. I choose case number 22. Oh, wrong game. Oh, who saw the end of Deep Impact? Crap? Uh... Okay. No, he has way more lines than that. He says, fuck you, asshole. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I guess. I didn't see that, but... Oh, no, wow. it's about a guy who finds an, it's an alien landing on Earth, if I'm okay, if I recall. Wow, you know. Well, I got two. I'm happy with that. Maybe it's not you. Maybe it's just a hot seat. fucked. Probably. You are too smart. I worked it because uh, it really wasn't hot. Another two takes you to eight. Howie okay. Mandel, you telling me I'm not hot. Howie Mandel's hot or not. Here you go. That's player two. Yes, it's I'm surprised that's not an actual hot, game. Hot, hot, hot seat awaits. Okay. I... 
strangely enough, viewership is trickling upwards now that we have not played the anime witch game and instead we're playing a Howie Mandel. I think it's because everyone's afraid of spiders, honey. Y'all are twisted. In a good way. I, I think people would rather see Howie Mandel threaten to murder us than... That's than, more relatable, yeah. yeah. I, I press... Okay. Oh, that I know. On. That's, that's so, easy. That's so easy. Easy, easy. <laughs> I thought it was going to say, oh, racehorse can't read. <laughs> All right, doing good. What about the Pretender? Do you know? Oh, I know shit about the Pretender. Do I look like a Pretender fan? I know the Pretenders. Do I look like a per? I, I know nothing of the Pretender. I, like I said, I know the, I know the band. Smart, but I bet with these two, I reckon you got um, including these two. Hey, three. Wow, they recorded actual edition. That's a lot of video files. All right, player one, feel the rush. Feel that rush as you attempt to beat the bomb, or more to the point. Could you just two. imagine this poor guy Before just having to take all two. these takes of all this edition? You know the rest. You one plus two. Three, that's more than two. <laughs> four, three more than one, two more than two. Beat the rush hour. You've got 19 seconds. Five, biggest number there's ever been. Oh God, how do I do this one? Good luck, I have no clue. Yeah, no matter what I pick, it's either stop or explode. Uh, I think it's about figuring out whether or not those are all true or fake. Okay. I have no idea which one indicates what, though, so good luck. Explode. It exploded. Did you die? Let's talk to Howie. Someone call 911. We have a rush hour emergency. Badly beat up, very messy. Looks like they've lost a lot of tokens. You want to take that one again? <laughs> well, whatever. Okay, Who real cares? quick, baby. The sneaker nuts. 14 month <laughs> resub. Two, Thank you so you? much. Back on the seat, you big baby. Uh, uh, sneaker nuts <laughs> says <laughs> Howie is the mascot of Retro Pals. Fact. Howie's the mascot of Retro Pals. Crap. It's the Bobby's World <laughs> version. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That ain't brain surgery, people. How he literally just called you a big baby while you were taking the controller. He's I don't know just, what prompted that. He's a dickhead. Somebody call 911. There's been a bloody accident. Ah. <laughs> and Moonstruck. Does Nicolas Cage have one hand? I don't know. I haven't seen Moonstruck. Ah, I didn't even see Moonstruck, apparently. He has one hand. I... I... God damn it, stop calling me Baby Joe. You've been struck by the moon, baby. You've been struck by. You've been hit by moon. Get tokens. Get questions wrong. No tokens. You're still on three. Still on three. Oh, man. Why do they even have tokens if they keep score? Whatever. Okay, guys, player one, get your butt back in the hot seat. It's always talking about my butt. I don't like it. To win four tokens, you gotta answer four questions without the bomb going off. Hit start. Four questions, four answers. I got it in me. Okay. Question one. For people who have seen every episode of Murder, She Wrote. Oh, God. Fact? Yes. Yes. Whoa, that sounds fucked up. Fact. Oh, it was wrong. Damn. They remake I Fantasy that Island? Version. Yes, yes! Should have asked you. I. They should have, but they keep asking me about things I don't know about, like the Pretender. Are you learning at all? Because you obviously haven't learned anything here. Oh. Okay, one more. Wow. You're an idiot with a hot butt who hasn't learned anything. Player two. Yes, it's you. The hot, hot, hot seat awaits. Yes, my ass is beautiful. I'm feeling hot, right. hot, hot. <laughs> This would be really boring four without Howie. Four correct answers. Get without Howie threatening to kill us. Let's yeah. go. Okay, let's do this. He'll add. He'll just be saying "hot" twenty times by the end. No, of this. that was not in in Die Hard. I know that. I know that. A question I knew. Big wife. Who? What was Big's wife? Natasha, name? my big Better wife. Answer. That's a fact. It's got to be a fact. Yes. Oh, that's sad if true. I, it's so sad it has to be true. Yeah, probably. Yep. That is crap. I know that. What? I thought it was... Okay. Oh, no, you were right. 
Yes! You did indeed beat the yes! bomb. Okay. Okay, now I know I need to make this game harder. You just scored a perfect round. I, wow! Alex! Look at that! Look at that, everybody! Alex I'm is within, catching I'm up. Within, I'm, within, uh, I'm within distance of Dev Dev Danny. One, don't try to hide. Alex is getting oh, excited. Yeah. You can't hide from Howie. Uh-uh. Now he's gonna kill us all, baby. <laughs> it was for some reason was I inspired by Big Wife? I don't know. Four tokens, you gotta answer four questions without the bomb. Alex is being powered by the idea of Big Wife. I'm sorry. I'm normal, I promise. Colby's a dynasty spin-off lasted five seasons, won seven Emmys. That sounds like crap to me. Grace under fire. Grace is married to an electrician. Is she married at all? Is she? I thought she was divorced and drunk. I thought so too. Yeah, that's crap. Yes. Family Guy <laughs> is a spinoff from The Simpsons. Yeah, it sounds true, but it's actually false. Uh... Robert Palmer was the lead singer of supergroup Power Station. That sounds about right to me. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. gotta oh. get blowed up. Yes. No. Oh, man. Two perfect rounds in a row. Eat that, Howie. Howie's eating his words right I can't now. Can't believe you beat the bomb. Another round like that, and you'll win the game. You're on 13. Player two, where are you? Back on the seat. It's you. Big Me? Okay. Here we go. Imagine a world where. Family Guy was a spin-off of The Simpsons. Four questions, need four correct answers. Get one wrong and get the bomb. Let's go. Oh yeah. I'm I'm here to Peter get... Griffin just hanging out at Moe's tavern. <laughs> beetles constitute one fifth of all the world's living organisms. I thought it was spiders, but maybe it's beetles. It's there actually, are a lot of beetles. It's actually anime spiders. Seinfeld never won an enemy an Emmy for best comedy series. I thought it won an Emmy, but maybe I'm a dumbass. Okay. Final episode of Jag. <laughs> Jack! Harm Jack! and Mac decide to marry. Sure, let's say yes. Who's seen Jag? Who's I've 80 seen... years old? Babylon 5, Sheridan was betrayed by security officer Mr. Garibaldi. Uh... Sci-fi fans? That sounds like crap. Fuck Garibaldi. They're not real. Is it true? No! No! Damn! Well, you got three at least. Damn, I know nothing of Babylon 5. Okay, that's ten. I'll tell that's you who likes excited. to babble on. But that's five away from winning. This so guy. Please, just concentrate. Yes. Damn, we're so close. Whoever's first to fifteen, I guess, wins. Okay, guys, player one, get your butt back in the hot seat. Third mention of my butt in the last five minutes. Howie. Don't think I don't notice. You're a little too familiar for us here, folks. Four questions need four correct answers. Get one wrong and get the bomb. Have you noticed how many times he steeples his fingers like that? Mm -hmm. He does that in every DVD game he's in, and it drives me nuts. It's like a power move. <laughs> in Back to the Future, Doc's, Doc Brown's dog is called Newton. No, it's actually, um... Well, it's not Newton. British equivalent to an Oscar is called a BAFTA. Is that true? Wait, I shouldn't be telling you whether it's true or not. No, Alex, I, I saw Alex nod out of the fuck, corner of my eye. Fuck, fuck, Allen keys, fuck. blue lamps, and drain snakes are all plumbing tools. That is a fact. <sighs> all birthmarks present when a baby is born are permanent. Crap? I should not have helped you out. I'm mad. Yes! That dark big man! Let's hear it for temporary birthmarks. Here you go. <laughs> oh, this is a close one. A no, it's me! I win! Really know your facts. I'm the best! Oh, I'm the best! <laughs> Howie Mandel likes me the most. Alright, he's knocking at our door with a gun labeled for Alex. This sucks. <laughs> Alright! That's Beat the Bomb. Fact or crap? Starring Howie Mandel for your DVD player. I liked it more this than the anime Witch game. Simple. I, I same here. Same I didn't. Here. I didn't like so him constantly to referring play, to my so ass like, like sweet your oh, sit your sweet ass in that seat. That yeah. hot seat isn't nearly as hot as your ass. Just unbelievable. He would say things like that. Very rude. Very unprofessional. Uh, we are disinviting you, Howie, uh, until you can uh, learn. You know what? We have a little bit more time, so let's go ahead and cram in one more game. All right. Y'all like the History Channel? <laughs> <laughs> it's 
So we've, uh, what we've, era of the History Channel? We've had questions about Murder, She Wrote, uh, questions about JAG, and now it's time to answer questions about the History Channel with Time Troopers, the DVD game. Sorry to be this guy, but is, uh, is this anything like VR Troopers? No. Well, maybe. You don't know that. We don't know. I've never heard of Time Troopers. Maybe it is. Maybe it's uh, the sequel we've all been craving. There's two discs in here. One of them's a bonus disc. Uh-oh. Enlist your family on a mission to rediscover history, it says. All right, y'all are enlisted. Uh, what year did this game come out, Danny? Let's find out. Um, put on that video. All right. Ooh, an association with the Princeton Review. <laughs> 2007, it says. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's that 2007 presentation quality for you. I love... I like the little fart that happens. There's a fart? Yeah, listen. That... Aww. That's a trombone, but yeah, point taken. No, it's... Okay, you know what? I, I, I say that's crap, not fact, Danny. Let's play Time Troopers. Okay. Bloink. Be equal. Smart games for smart families. I need a dumb game for a shitty family. Artic. That is so multimedia. Time for history. I like ancient aliens. Well, too bad. This is before that. And in other news, IM6, the ultra-secret British mm. intelligence agency, is rumored to be on the lookout for a rogue turret. agent okay. gone missing. Special Agent Wormold was the controversial architect of the ill-fated time transference program, which was scrapped earlier this year. The project, to send agents back through the ages, met with universal criticism when it was leaked to the public. The creators of Crystal's Some Ponytail made this? The eccentric Wormold has hijacked the project they and even started History Channel interviewing license. potential candidates, so-called Time Trooper. <laughs> I, I gotta say, the presentation here is really has me. Yeah. They spent a lot of money on this. Well, What's maybe that? not... Wait! Surprised that I appear to be normal? <laughs> Thank you. I am surprised to see that's John Cleese, right? Yes. On the news, right? So you want to be a time trooper, do you? Well, do you know the past? Because that's where your field of operations will be. I mean, I might decide to send you back to biblical times to stop a plague of locusts. I might send you back to the Wild West to prevent my great uncle Charlie from being killed in a knife fight. I might assign you to ancient Rome to bring me back a plate of spaghetti portofino. The point is, <laughs> this guy's you powerful. have to be ready for any eventuality. Okay? I love this. Right, now I'll introduce you to my Hi. assistant, Agent in Training Braxton. Hi. Braxton? So, remember, I'll be keeping my eye on you. Hmm. I love this! No, I'm all in! I'm all in! This I'm is fantastic! You think you're up oh, she's a streamer! Let's go then. <laughs> Where's your gamer chair? Oh, it's, it's, you can't see it, it's well, behind her. Troopers. Let's put it in. You here. know what? We don't have a lot of time, so let's just go ahead and play. Yeah. Choose right, individual mode if you want to compete against each other. Or individual. How many troopers are we gonna? Two put troopers. The... Everyone's excited about the the, the possibility of spaghetti here in chat. <laughs> We're gonna go get go the spaghetti. Choose your I'm a commander. Damn. I'm gonna choose cadet. Second trooper. You wanna uh, be red? What yes. color do you wanna be? Make me red. <laughs> and what's okay, your difficulty red level? Trooper. Can I be Choose captain instead of commander? Yeah, all right. Could all right, I'm gonna give myself a handicap. You start to begin the game. Yeah, yeah, let's start. Come up. on. We only got a few minutes here. Okay, blue trooper, let's rock. Oh, this game looks long. We're only gonna play a few questions. Oh I guess. my god. It's like still. What's this game like? Is it good? Is <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> this. Uh... Do you remember this? Playing cards with the faces of Iraqi leaders became very popular during the recent war with Iraq. The recent card bears you know, the it's still of true. Hussein in the deck. I can see it right there. Hussein was the ace of spades. Oh, His we have to say it. Uday okay. I see. Were All the right. aces of hearts and the aces of Well, don't forget the Joker because he was the ace of spades. 
did you get it right or wrong? I got it right. Yeah, Danny got it right. He said, Red Trooper, you're up. There you All go. All right, my turn. What the fuck is that question? What a, what a way to begin the game. That's a, that's a little unsettling. Whatever. All right, let's have a fun game. Anyway, Saddam Hussein. Hmm. Cool. The <laughs> Fancy communication. That's, is this for real? That's a really open I question. I don't know that about clerk was, telegraphy. Was this faked? Is this man an actual CG model? Uh, is I, he a character from Gravity uh, Angels? Uh, I guess it's a fact. I'm going to go with fact. That, that sounds real. But it, is this for real? This is not, this is for, not real. for real. Damn what it. you saw was just a complete lie. Comes from the Greek language and means beautiful right. I should have known that it came no, from Greek. No, sorry. You have to stay where you are. For I now. think there was narration explaining uh, what was going on. Yeah, the question was, uh, is this calligraphy based off a of Chinese? Uh, okay. And I got it wrong because I, I was only very watched confused. the video. Yeah. The trooper is up. <laughs> All right, Danny, go. You can do it. That whole scene was faked. Every last bit of it. In the 1840s, many Americans believed the U.S. would inevitably expand westward all the way to the Pacific Ocean. Solve the word puzzle to find the phrase that describes this belief. Oh, I know what that is. What I, is it? I'm it's, not um, saying it, but I know what it is. I'm gonna be snarky here. Oh boy. Do you know what it is? I know what it is. Manifest destiny. Yes. Yes, it's all of those manifest things that Chad destiny. said. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Manifest destiny, manifest destiny, white you supremacy, genocide, it. manifest Move destiny, ahead, absolutely. All correct. Wow, two spaces. Yeah. I'm I'm stuck at number one up, here. Alright, Red Trooper. Do your thing. Alright, let's do it. Yeah, I should have paid more attention to schoolhouse rock. 1773. Time Trooper Christina reporting. I'm at Boston Harbor where an extraordinary event is taking place. A group of colonials dressed as Native Americans have boarded three British ships and are tossing the cargoes of tea overboard. What famous incident is this? Uh, the Tea Society of a Witch. Incident. Yes, this is this is like they're these spiders are dressed in very inappropriate costume and tossing tea all over the place. What's your answer? It is the Boston Tea Party of a Witch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Boston Tea Society of Witches. I think there was a video loop when you hit answer, so try it again. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Our time right. trooper is I got it right. The Boston Tea Party. Yes. Did yes. you get it right? Or you wrong? good old Boston Tea Party. I got it right. Blue Trooper, away you go. Whoa! Four sp oh, four that's you. Fake car. <gasps> yeah. You surpass Shakespeare and Dante when you come up with a rhyme for orange. Ahead of space. He's gonna move ahead of space. Alright. We may finish this, Danny. Maybe we should speed run Red this. Trooper. Let's see what you got. Oh, wait, that would be you. I was going to have no idea how. Fake card. Oh, you get a fake card. You tell Copernicus that he is not the center of the universe. Upper space. Hey, cool. <laughs> Way to tell him to shove it. It's about time someone took Copernicus down a peg. Okay, I guess you could get it right if you just uh, okay, said you got it right. And we could speed run it by just saying that we got every question right. If we you know what? Let's go ahead and do okay, that. Okay, we're just going to we'll, we're gonna pretend we're brain geniuses. Card. We'll know if we're wrong. Hey. Marco Polo brings you back spaghetti from China. Spaghetti! But he forgets the sauce. Back oh. space. Duh. Check off spaghetti. God, I'm so glad it got mentioned again. I'm glad we got payoff on the spaghetti <laughs> saga. Red <laughs> Trooper, you're up. This, I'm not sure what to make of this, but I think I like it. It's better than anything else we played tonight, except for Gravity Angels, which Gravity was amazing. Angels. Charles Darwin came Gosh. up with Natural Selection. I think you mean natural unnatural selection. selection. Means that only animals that are the best match for their environment will survive, rather like nature's version of American Idol. Oh. Yeah, yeah. He put it in terms I can understand. Yeah. I love when the bonobos just fucking go ape <laughs> shit on the mic. The dodo was the William Hung of society. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, history. Actual footage from the, uh. the Forest War. <laughs> what southern capital finally took down the Confederate flag from its state house in 2000? Austin? 
No! Yeah, I was right. Yeah, it was South Carolina. Austin, yeah. South Carolina, that's what I meant. to do so. Red Trooper, let's do it! Alright, let's do it to it! Come on, let's eh, do it. Yeah, let's do it. We're speedrunning. Sherlock Holmes was an actual detective who lived in England in the 1800s. Is this for real? No, it, he is a fictional archetype. This is not for real. <laughs> I know that. I... Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's famous Factoid. fictional character was based on Dr. Joseph Bell, the writer's professor in medical school in Scotland. He was a famous cokehead, and he's not allowed to have feelings, or yes, else you'll be sued the by the stage. estate. <laughs> Actually true, look it up. It's true. Congrats, Alex. Thank you. Showtime, Blue Trooper. Showtime. He lives in a mind palace, honey. <laughs> I saw a couple episodes of that. <laughs> it's dumb as hell. <laughs> Sorry for all you uh, super Hulakian Hoot fans. Is that still a thing? You know what? If it is, I support you. You're valid. After returning from exile on Elba, Napoleon tried to regain control of France in an effort that ended disastrously at Waterloo. What is his brief return called? Uh, his brief return, of course, was called the Napoleon Maneuver. Right, the Hundred Days. Yeah, the Hundred Days! Also the knows the Hundred days. days. I was right. <laughs> Technically, my answer was more right. The Napoleon Resummer. Blue Trooper, you did it! You're the first to reach the sixth space. It feels good. Mm hmm Good to be here. Come on, Red Trooper. Come on, get it in gear. I'm doing my best here. Come on. Come on, DVD. This map, like many from the 1600s and 1700s, was missing a continent. What is the capital of the country of the missing continent? Cool Town. I have no clue. It's Cool Town, though. Right. It's Cool Town, Australia. Canberra. Oh, Australia. It was... Okay. <laughs> Sorry to all Australians that I didn't oh, notice no. that. I got it right. Yeah, absolutely. Frappe Fiasco is just fuming right now. <laughs> We're so sorry to all our beautiful Australian oh, fans. You're at the sixth space, Red Trooper. Halfway home. Yeah, Halfway home. Halfway there, baby. I think we can make this happen. We just yeah. gotta really... Lie. Really speed things up and lie. <laughs> Give me that thing that Trooper, pushes me ahead four spaces. Stuff. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Come on, we got this. Yeah, yeah. Caligula appoints his yeah. horse, not you, to the Roman Senate. Back a space. No! Caligula. <laughs> I, oh God, don't teach, well, I guess kids got to learn about Caligula Come sometime, on, huh? Caligula. Caligula. <laughs> All right, let's, let's move ahead. Oh! It's double or nothing time. You get to move ahead two spaces if you get this question Yeah, you should right. take this. But we're going to make it harder for you. Think you can do it? Yeah. I accept the challenge. Caligula's challenge. <laughs> Paris, early 20th century. Time Trooper Keith are reporting. I have just met one of the greatest woman scientists of our time. She and her husband, Pierre, discovered the element radium, and she now holds the chair of physics at the University of Paris Sorbonne. What is her name? I know this one. How about you? Uh, it's Marie Curie, but it's also uh, uh, one of those... Oh, I can't think of a funny joke about a science witch. Just, just imagine a spider <laughs> doing science. It's a brain gremlin! Okay! Yeah, good. Saved. Our time trooper is... That's our time go. trooper. Ahead two spaces. Alex may take this one. If I keep meeting up with Caligula. <laughs> okay, Blue Trooper, let's rock. I think she's saying YouTuber every time. Like, every time she says Blue Trooper, I Not hear YouTuber. Not a YouTuber, we're a Twitch streamer. Very different species of people here. <laughs> species. Uh. What a pleasant subject being uh, discussed here. 1944, the Allied army invaded uh, he said famously, let's raw dog him. Fanny! Yeah. Duh! Operation Overlord. Why is she laughing? Red Trooper, Overlord. let's do it. A lot of people died, it was funny. 
You're still a hit. Oh man, this may be it's the deciding factor. Time. You keep getting right. double or nothing. Two spaces if you get this question right, but we're gonna make it harder for you. Think you can do it? It's a lot of bandanas. You know I'm right. <laughs> Operation Ogre Lord. <laughs> All right, here we go. What river, forming part of the border between Oregon and Washington, did the Oregon Trail follow along its final stretch? Well, we've all played Oregon Trail, but who remembers the name of the famous river that you had to ford at the end? Of course it was the mighty Mississippi. The yeah, exactly. also known as the Columbia River. <laughs> That's its nickname. Ocean. Well played. It only, it only lets you call it the Mississippi if you're friends. Right or wrong. The old Mississippi. Wicked! You go forward Wicked. two spaces. Caligula will be pleased. <laughs> Blue Trooper, away you go. I haven't seen John Cleese in a while. Where is he? Is he hiding? I think he's afraid of us. We are endowed with certain unalienable rights. Wow, historic footage. That among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The Declaration of Independence was adopted on July 4th, 1776, although Congress had already decided to sever ties with Britain. When Shit, this is actually making me answer. July 16th. <laughs> um, July I'm just gonna say July 2nd. Two days earlier yeah. on July 2nd. Good job. Very Pretty quick good. decision. Up a space. You know what? Yeah, we should split off the country. I I was hemming and hawing on it. I Show couldn't decide, yourself, but yeah, Cooper. let's let's uh let's secede. Oh, look at me go! I think you're gonna do this. Yes. I think you're gonna be tonight's big winner. I'm gonna troop time. These Romans or? Also, I want to apologize for the audio levels in this game. It's kind of all over the place. I'm doing my best to manage it, but oof. In his famous poem, Kubla Khan. Samuel Coleridge writes, In Xanadu did Kublai Khan, a stately pleasure dome decree. Yes. What empire did the real Kublai Khan rule? Uh, Mongolia? Oh, I am, I am not an, I am. <laughs> yeah, Declaration of Independence signing was filmed in 4K. It was pretty amazing. Mongol Empire, great, great. I was, I was actually, I was actually factually right that time. I didn't have to lie. All right, I think we're pretty close to the end here. Oh man, On yes. This supersized edition okay, of Retro Pals Let's Wednesday. Rock. It's important. Yeah, he starred in the fil hot film Xanadu. He uh, <laughs> was a big ELO fan. It's double or nothing. Answer a tougher question, and you'll get to move ahead two spaces. This one's tough, and I'm All on right. maximum difficulty. I accept. Go, Danny, go. What horrific war criminal am I going to answer a question about now? A volcano, the worst war criminal. <laughs> This ash-spewing volcano called Mount Pinatubo erupted in 1991. What island country in the South Pacific is it located in? Um, America. <laughs> yeah. Mount Pinatubo. <laughs> Wicked. You go forward two spaces. Damn. Pretty tight competition, but I think one more will win, Alex. All right. What's yours, Red Trooper? Do it. End it. All right, here we go. It's double or nothing time. You get to move ahead two spaces. Oh, you're for sure going to win this. Right. Premature congratulations to Alex for, for winning Time Think Troopers and leaving it? me stranded in time. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, enjoy your time with Caligula. Thanks. <laughs> you couldn't have left me couldn't have left me in the stately pleasure dome. You had to <laughs> had to go with Caligula. Was well, okay. that supposed to be a question? I didn't actually hear anything. Arabic names refer to Betelgeuse, Deneb, Aldebaran, Altair. Well, I know Betelgeuse. I genuinely don't know. Part of me wants to say those are star names, but I am very unaware. So I'm just going to go with stars. But if I get it wrong, do apologize. Hey, hey! Good for you. Stars, you are the true the time trooper. Even today. I actually got that right. They were named by Arabic astronomers who made many important.
Yeah, they, they rock. They were, yeah, many important. It's definitely Time Trooper material, Red Trooper. Congratulations! Yeah. Hey! Let's hear it for Alex. Yay! Good work, Alex. All right, all right. What you happens get to when I win? You get to return a spirited performance. to well the current done. time. I think you're all to be commended for your... Oh, don't worry. It's uh, it's nothing, just a false alarm. I have everything 100% under control. I am six, couldn't possibly get through my anti-quark shield. It's better than good. I paid a king's ransom, literally, to this traitor in the 31st century. I... Oh. What? This is just particle bought. That deceitful swindling. I think a trip to the 31st century is in order. Oh, that was good. Where is everyone? If they're all back in the 60s party again, I'm going to be very upset. <laughs> now, all those, all those time troopers are in the 60s just absolutely blasted on LSD. Yep. We're at Woodstock, we're sliding down the mudslides, and we're as happy as pigs and shit. Because we're the time troopers, damn it. Thank you so, 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 so much to Sasquatchulus for the 31 month resub. Sasquatchulus says, Time for fun. Oh, certainly there is time for fun when I you're fun. stuck in time. Mike Moleman. Moleman, Moleman. Moleman worked on this, Danny. <laughs> oh, that's so An good. actual Moleman. Wow, I'm so proud of them. Well, that was fun. Yeah. I, I had no expectations for that, and yet that was pretty well produced. It asked some interesting questions. And it was simple enough to be workable with a DVD remote. And that's really all you can ask from one of these games. Please check out Time Troopers at your local library or eBay auction. Probably eBay auction at this point. Yeah, it's probably more likely to find it at eBay. And thanks to everyone from all these famous stock image producer companies. <laughs> I gotta say, chromosome images sound like those images are gonna fucking kick ass. <laughs> John Rizzo. Oh man, we got a rat in here. NASA. Stock montage. All right. All right, we did it. We what troped through game? time. Would you like to play again? Tro troopers, not Troop tro 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 Sorry, that's fair. Totally this trooper play. travels through time. <laughs> Well, folks, that ends another successful collection of DVD video games. Successful because we survived, not necessarily because we were any good at them. Mm -hmm. uh, what did we see tonight? We saw the first episode of Gravity Angels. Oh my god, I'm going to have to buy the rest of those discs, aren't mm -hmm. I? Yep. So look forward in the weeks ahead to further episodes of the Gravity Angels. What did they find deep in the briny depths of, what was it, Jupiter? Uh, Ganymede? Ganymede, yeah. I don't know. We'll that find planet. out in the future. Uh, we also managed to explore the Tea Society of a Witch. We played that. That really happened. Now let's never talk about it ever again. Never. Preemptive. And then we ended up with, of course, Howie Mandel and a surprise appearance from John Cleese. Good stuff. Yeah, I like seeing him here. He hasn't appeared before, I don't think. Yeah, Maybe he first has. appearance. I don't remember. Many, though uh, Howie Mandel had many, many appearances prior. And that's obviously not the last time we're going to see him because there are yet more DVD games featuring Howie Mandel that I own. They will be played in the future. That's a promise and a threat. Thank you for watching. Thank you. We're done here. Thanks everyone for watching. Special thanks to, what was his name, Jazz? Jazz Honker or something. Jazz, Jazz Honker, the space junkie. Jazz Honku, Jazz Tutti Fruit, Jazz, Jazz Man. Yeah, that's his full name. Jazz, that was, tutti fruit jazz man. That was a fun one. Those are games you're never going to see on any other stream for good reason. But we take the bullet for you, our pals. Thanks for watching. We're Retro Pals. We stream several times a week. If you want to vote for what we play during our Wednesday showcase streams, you can do that. You can head to patreon.com slash retro pals. If you're at the $5 tier, you can tell us to play Tea Society of, Witch, of a Witch and we'll actually do it. Can you believe it? We did it. We did do it. The proof is right there. The proof is in the terrible DVD pudding. Please don't drip your DVDs in pudding. <laughs> we'll be back on Friday with a very special presentation because tomorrow, Battletoads is coming to Xbox One. Oh yeah. Mascot Starves of the Past. And this Mascot Friday, our stream will be dedicated entirely to the new Battletoads on day two of its release. Not quite day one. Day, day something. The, the Toads will be waiting for us, and hopefully you'll be waiting for the Toads. Is this new game any good? Well, uh, I have no idea, but Alex and I are going to co-op as far as we can through it. And if it's a platformer, we're going to rank it. 
If not, uh, I don't know. The yeah. show will be a total waste. I don't think we've ever done Battle Toads before. Well, we have, and you know what? Let's just hope it won't lead to a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to work our way backwards through the Battle Toads series, starting with Battle Toads 2020 on Friday at 8 p.m. Central. Mm -hmm. I hope you'll join us. I'll look for a host. Alex, do the do the wrap up that you do. All right. Well, my name is Alex, and I'm here to say that we are on YouTube in a major way. Uh, sorry. Uh, YouTube.com slash RetroPals. We post the highlights of our streams there, including our latest one, which is part two of the Wee Dumpster Dive. Next week, I think, on the docket is a uh, look at... Oh, not Midnight Raiders, but we got a good... We got a nice, uh, a nice one coming up uh, in the next one. I think it's a Commodore 64 game. No, that was the... I'll remember it sometime. I'm working on a lot of videos. There is time. something showing up on the YouTube. There, if you will see, if you go to YouTube, you will see something on the YouTube. Wild, I know. We're also on Twitter, Twitter uh, twitter.com slash RetroPilesHQ. We post when we go live there, so do check that out if you want to see when we go live or when we have new videos up and uh, you're also on Twitter and you want some of that content. I don't know. It's, good. It's, it's, it's nice to know. It's nice to know. Yeah. That's it is nice. What a nice place this is. Mm -hmm. Thanks everyone for watching. Thank I feel you. I feel a little bit closer to you all now that we've observed Tea Society of a Witch, followed directly by a Howie Mandel game. That is that is emotional whiplash right there, and you should be stronger for it. I, I guess. So I think we're gonna end up hosting our friend the opponent, oh. who is practicing elevator action returns for his future SGDQ appearance. That's right, a member of the Retro Pals community is going to be at SGDQ virtually. Mm -hmm. Played Elevator Action Returns. That is 821. What day is that? That would be on Friday. All right, so Friday, approximately around 8 a.m. Central, or rather 8 a.m. Eastern, though times could change. Make sure you set some time aside to see the opponent play Elevator Action Returns, speed running it, and one credit clearing it. Mm -hmm. uh, wish him luck. Have a good rest of your night, and we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. See ya, folks. <laughs>